in 2019. It was a day I will never forget. Hi, I'm Melanie. Hi, I'm Molly, and welcome to our channel. Today, <laughs> Melanie uh, has something, but I did tell her I wanted to do, I wanted my flowers to be in the screen, but it would take yes, up. those are so pretty. The whole thing. I got these at Sam's, and I don't always buy myself, I love flowers. And Jonathan, he'll buy me flowers every now and then, but he hates flowers because he works at a funeral home. I want to feel the mossy. I know. Is I, that real moss? I love the little mossy balls. And aren't these hydrangeas? I'm terrible yes, with flowers. they're hydrangeas. And it looks like daisies. And, and what are these little pom-poms? I don't know. Like these little yellow pom-poms? I don't know what those are. Well, those we are do cute. we do scan and go. And so I scanned. I didn't scan the tag. I didn't even know it had a tag. And I scanned the thing that was underneath it. And it said Easter bouquet thing. And it had an Easter bunny coming out of it. And it said it was $15. And I was like, yes, oh, wow. I'm doing it. Yeah. And then when we checked out and the lady had to scan her receipt, she's like, those aren't 15, those are 30. So and I was I like, oh. so we had to go to the, to the, you know, customer service. Oh. It was a big to do. And she was like, well, do you want me just to reimburse you or do you want to pay the difference? What are you wanting to do? And I was like, oh, 30 bucks. And Jonathan's like, just get the flowers. Yeah, so I did. Sweet. So now I'm trying to make the most of my $30 purchase. Here it is. I'll remember it for always. Mm -hmm. It's cute. I and can... it's lasted you already for several days. Yes. So I just, you know, I can go back and look at it in a video, I guess. <laughs> remember my $30 flower yeah. purchase. Yeah. Yeah. So today I just suggested that we pick out three things that we were enjoying using and then... We just talk around that to fill in the gaps. And we're glad you're here. And we're getting closer to a thousand subscribers, which the main reason why we're happy about that is because we've got all this giveaway stuff we want to do. So I think we were at 972 this morning. I know. You know, you mentioned in the last video we were at 960 something, and then we lost like four people. Yeah. So I don't hope I didn't jinx it or anything. But anyway, that's exciting because we got some stuff we want to share so but today we're sharing i'm sharing three things one two three four five five maybe five maybe okay here's the first one do y'all get this magazine it's called woman within and it has really reasonably priced clothes do you order clothes from a catalog i have because yeah yeah why yeah why not i don't know it just it seems like such a you order from it Amazon seems like all such an old thing for someone to get a catalog in the mail, peruse oh, it, and then no, order something. I see what you're saying. I usually go to their site. Yeah. I look in their catalog and go to their site. Now, this, I'll have to say, it can be kind of, I don't want to use this word because I am one kind of old lady ish, some of the things in here, but some of the things not. And they've got shoes and they've got swimsuits that are modest yeah that are modest well and not only that but that cover your insecurities yeah and that is the hardest thing to find they've got some brigiers in here they have moomoos moomoos in here and but they have also they've got jeans they got long shorts yes so and this is not geared for a 20 something year old and i know that and that's fine by me um but, it, but anyway, I just wanted to mention it. Just go to their website and say, this is what I like too. Look, if you have an order of $50 or more, you can get a two-piece tote and wristlet for free. And you know I'm all over that, plus well, it's floral. That's hey, cute. Would yeah. that be a good purse for me? It probably Well, it doesn't have um, crossbody. Yeah. But you know, honestly, Mom... If it comes with ways that you can detach the handle, you can buy your own favorite strap and make a crossbody out of anything. It shouldn't be this complicated. It shouldn't be to that have complicated. A purse. But I'm still working on the purse issues. I feel like I'm all up on you, but Jonathan tells me all the time I need to be like right next to you. Well, I think we're fine. Okay. We're fine. So that's my magazine I wanted to talk about. And 
I talk I don't about want, my flowers. I don't want to hog this situation. Why don't you tell them about your accessories? Well, we're going to do, hopefully, a video. We're even possibly going to oh, collab so. with somebody about accessories. But I will say, I am trying to up my accessory game. I used to never really wear earrings or rings. Oh, but I will talk about, I was thinking, you mentioned your favorite things. This is one of my favorite things. Yeah. And it is my ring that Daddy gave me. One, oh, yeah. Was it one month before he passed away? Was it one month before he passed away? Yeah. Because my birthday is August yeah. 23rd. And he, he died, died September, September 23rd, 23rd. And then your birthday is October 23rd. And it was like bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Um, but I think he got it from Walmart. And he got it just inscripted saying, Momo, I will always love you, Infinity Dad. And it just meant so much to me. I remember breaking down crying when he gave it to me. Oh, I could do it now. just Because oh, you, you know when you remember something and the heaviness of it. Anyway, that's one of my favorite things. And I wear it all the time. I'll tell you what, what got to me. And it was a silly thing after he died is I can remember it. He would buy me um, from Bath and Body Works, not like a tradition, but he'd at least gone in one time and bought me some sweet pea. You know, it had a set. It had some spray. It had some lotion. Yeah. And I remember getting down to the end of the lotion. And I just, my heart was oh, kind of, mm -hmm. and I was just like, this is the last, this is the last of it. Oh, I remember being so sad yeah. about that. That took a turn. This is yeah, my other okay. favorite ring. It's from Jonathan, and we're married. <laughs> and this is my lipstick that I just keep coming back to that I love. And I'll just apply She's some of it. She's going to demonstrate. I had to wear a mask, and so I had really tried really hard. See, it has just the right amount of gloss. Yeah. Right amount of color. Because I tell you, I don't really like matte. So I like it when something like has when some glide to it. just a little bit. Now, you may have to read the bottom of that. It seems like it's something about roses or... Well, it's color 904 called Varnished Rosewood. That seems right up your alley. Varnished yes. Rosewood. Varnished Rosewood. It should have been decoupage. I know. It should have been decoupage. And rosewood. Um, is this L'Oreal? Oh, yes, it is. Anyway, this, and this is not an expensive lipstick, but if you just want something to glide over your lips, I highly recommend these. They're very nice, and they're not huge. They're just those little ones. And so, if I'm in the car, then I don't smear it all over my face. You know, it's small enough that I can color in the lines. <laughs> so, that was one of my things I was going to talk about. So... Do you have something else? Cause, Well, we'll do this video on accessories coming up. We're not sure if we're going to get to collab with somebody specifically about accessories or just do it on our own. But I'll go into more detail about that kind of yeah. stuff. I've been trying to up my game. I mentioned my dad's ring. But the reason I mentioned it, this really isn't the video for it. But I bought this little ring because I wanted to start wearing other rings. I'm just so impressed that you're making this change in your I life. I know, because she's always wanted me to accessorize. Always, I just love always. You. you know why I love accessories? Is because when I couldn't afford the outfit, I could afford the little ringy ding dings. You know, $2, $3 somewhere, and I felt like I had upped my game. But this so, is gold, and this is silver, and my wedding rings are silver. Well, I didn't up at my game that far. And Jonathan just got my wedding ring cleaned for the first time, and I don't even know how long we've been married. I can't do the math. Well, let's don't put him through that, because <sighs> yeah, I can help you. First time in all our years. You got married in 2007. Seven. Yeah, so however long that however is. Long is I just would have to see it with my fingers. But let's move on to your Here's my most exciting product and it came in the mail before I came over oh, here. I was like, that's not even opened. It's not open, but I'm oh, what does that say? Eyelash Growth Serum, but it's some kind of name. Vi Beauty. Yes. And V I so, E Beauty. And this came from Amazon. So Molly <coughs> will put the link below. Yeah. Okay. And then I saw this on a channel and I'll probably, I'll probably get you to link the ladies' channel below. It's not a beauty content, what do you call them? Influ I don't, it, creator? Like, beauty yeah, creator? That I watch very often, or maybe I don't know. But goodness, her eyelashes were like, woo, baby. Can I open it? Oh, yeah, open it. And um, 
she's she's over 50 it may be pretty after 50 or something but i just kind of just met her on the youtube and her eyelashes were really impressive and so she was going over the eye serum how they work and oh what, this is serum yes it's serum oh yeah okay i was thinking it was mascara because i wanted to look at the wand oh and what i have found with serums is that on me on me they do work they work for yeah your lashes are long they're they're fine they work for a time and then you think oh that's not doing that's not doing a thing and then i'll switch brands and i have not ever done the the really big brand the big buck brand so i just kind of skirt around with these other ones this molly i've liked is that the elf what does that say? Camo cream? Yes, that would be the Elf CC. CC. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, Camo CC cream. What do you think of it? <laughs> you didn't like it so much, but I'm saying on me, what do you think of it? Can oh, you... yeah, no, it looks good. Does it look like the right color or mm -hmm. is it too light? No, I. what color did this you get? This is fair. I'll have to see what color fair. I got. But I put it on the other day and I ended up going over it with something else. So this works this works good on me. Is it so, is it a good dupe like I hear for the It Cosmetics? Uh, I have, you know, that's what I've always used. I know. This to me, I kind of like, I think maybe a little better. Yeah. Because sometimes my It Cosmetics, I'll put it on and I'm thinking I look good and then I get out and I'm like, oh, that looks so thick. Oh, really? This is lighter. To me, this is a lighter I think that was my issue is I was putting it on and with all my little breakouts and I I'm just got off my period which I know we're not supposed to talk about but I have bumps from that and I remember putting it on thinking yeah it might be evening out my skin tone a little bit but I can see every like imperfection every one like it didn't cover any of it yeah. It just kind of gave me a little bit of a consistent color across my skin, but I could still see everything. I didn't like that. Yeah. So this, I was getting down to the bottom. You know how I use things until I just can't use them, until I'm like prying them out with the shovel to smear them on my face. And mm -hmm. I thought, I've got to quit doing that. Um, I can be frugal in other areas of my life besides makeup. I don't know what they'll be yet, but surely there's a there's a place. Um, Can I smell it? Yeah, and so I like Physician Formula Blush. So they only had one of those in the the thing at the CVS. It has no smell. Um, but see what I liked about this, and I'm influenced by this. But look <laughs> at the name of it: Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. And so, why would you not want why a would blush you want, yeah. that would boost your mood? Why would you not want some happy so booster? So, there's the happy glow mo mood, but boosting Glow and blood. mood boosting blush. Yeah. But I like it. And um, what do you think of it? On well, me? I'm feeling some extra happy vibes coming from you. Are so, you? I think it did something. I'm looking in the mirror over there. Yeah. And I got my fake hair on today. Juva bun? Is okay. it Juva? No. Oh, you know, no. on one of our videos, we have quite a few dislikes, and it was the Juva bun. And really? I think, you know, I thought, you know, I think maybe those Juva people got their feelings hurt because the, and I'm, I, it, just the one we had, it was just the wrong color. But you know, if you're really up on something and you you're really cheering for the Juva bun, and then somebody puts out a video and they says, "Oh, that's just that." This is my dollar one from the estate sale. Um, I think it may have hurt their feelings. At least five or six of the people, because well, we had some major thumbs then down. Then Juva bun, contact us, work with us to get our right hair color, and we'll do a video with you. Well, that's true, and I want I want to get one for my redheaded friend. Kelly. Oh yeah, I do. And redheads are any of y'all redheaded? I just I have found that it is hard to match up red. I, I didn't you know blondes you can kind of well, and a lot of time they have different tones of blonde, and you can yeah. kind of make it work 
But yeah, I could see with redheads, if your tone is wrong, it is probably wrong. Well, because there's some that are kind of um, auburn, and then there's some that almost have a purplish under cast. I've been amazed. I've had to send several back. <laughs> so I keep I keep trying. So anything else that we need to talk about? Well, we posted our little April Fool's video, and you guys were so sweet to comment oh, on yes. that. Jonathan and Hattie had a blast. Oh, yeah, we, that was pretty obvious. I did wasn't not it? because I had to edit it, and it was a lot to edit. It was a lot, <laughs> but it still made me laugh while I was doing it. Yeah. Um, and then Sam came in, and he really wanted to surprise you. And so I remember I just got out of the shower. And he FaceTimes. That's pretty much all he does when he calls people is FaceTime. And I don't ever do that. I bet, yeah. So I answer the phone, and I'm in my bed. I'm about to zip-zap my legs so I don't have anything on my on the half bottom half of me because yeah. I'm about to do my little thing. My hair's all up, and he's like, hey, uh, you want to have lunch, I mean, dinner with Mom? And I was like, well, I mean, I, I can. Why is he trying to arrange me to have yeah. dinner with you? He's like, well, I'm in town. I'm like, are you really? Because I know it's April Fool's Day. We posted a video today, so it's yeah. on my mind. And I just knew that he was going to set us up for dinner and never show and up. And not show up. And be like, haha, April Fool's. Because what did he do? Well, in 2019, it was a day I will never forget. He called me, and I did not keep up with it was April Fool's. And so he called me. And he was very sad, and Sam is a very up, positive, adventurous, mm -hmm. always ready for the next thing kind of person. And so he called me to let me know that he had needed to talk to me, and it was going to be a hard conversation, and that um, he knew I was going to be disappointed. And, you know, my heart was just like, oh, okay, here it comes. Lord, these are the times when we just have to be prepared. Just take some deep breaths. You are with me, whatever this is. And so Sam let me know that he had gotten a girl pregnant. And um, that he just, it, it happened and there was no going back. And, and so what was bad is I was at work. And so... Or maybe it was good. So all of my people were around, and they were hearing me say, Okay, Sam, let's take some deep breaths. Let's think this through. Uh, that That isn't the way, you know, that really isn't the correct order that we want to do things in life. You're in college and all, and, and I don't think I've ever even heard you mention this girl who he said was a nurse. He had details, details. <coughs> And so, but I began to say, this is a precious child. We're going to figure it out. Uh, all of these things. And all of my work ladies are around me and they're just like, oh, oh we can tell you this is not a good conversation and all. And then he says, April Fool's. Well, that was not funny. No, it's not. No, and you that know that that's funny become to me. very controversial. People who use pregnancy as an April Fool's joke because it's becoming more and more like people are like, who struggle with infertility, oh. they're like, it's not funny. But Sam, you know, this was back in 2019, and every year I see more and more well, posts about don't do an April Fool's joke about that. But And my goodness, that was three years ago, so I guess, what, he's 21 or something? Yeah, Just I mean, dumb, <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. And I said, I'm going to hurt you when I see you next time. That was so mean, but... I did feel like I handled it as good as one can handle, you know, big conversations like that. But now every April Fool's, I'm just waiting, waiting. So he I redeemed himself. I could feel himself. your anxiety would be, your tension would be, you know. Well, yeah, you get a call from Sam. So he redeemed himself. Yeah, so I, I called mom. I'm like, hey, you want to do dinner tonight? And mom's like... Because we, we talk about the Enneagram, which we need to do a video on yeah. at some point. But she's like, well, what's a number five doing calling me and inviting me to dinner? How can I say no to that? And she, I she goes, what brought this on? And I mean, and it's true. Like, I, why would I call and just randomly ask to do dinner? I've got a family and... And we do lunch and we see yeah. each other quite a bit. So for her to call and say, let's have... I was kind of like, oh, what's... I'm like, I just am in the mood to be spontaneous. I want to be like, Sam's in the really? mood to be spontaneous. It's Sam. It's always Sam. So, 
so I arrange it and, and I have a video that I, I posted on our Instagram stories so if you're not following us over there I'll try to insert it here. Stick it in here hey mama yeah because he's on call huh he's on call Happy. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Oh. Hey. That's a mama. That's a mama. That's a great table food. Oh, it thinks good for you. I was oh, videoed it. <laughs> and uh, it was a good surprise. It was a good surprise. And so he's redeemed himself. All that to say, he's redeemed himself. <sighs> Sam's exhausting. He is. He's, he's a, lot a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun, and though. And this is what I don't get. What? Daisy and Sam both. They always want to surprise you about yes. coming in. And I get exhausted by it. I'm like, why do? Why can't we just be normal? And I say, Daisy's coming in. And then we prepare. and like, We think, oh, let's go here. Let's go there. Because Zach and Kristen, it was so last minute that I'm like, they've got three kids. They can't yeah, just they can't shuffle over it. here. And anyway... Some people like to surprise people. Do you like to be surprised? I I don't mind it. I usually love to be surprised, but do you? but that's really with Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like surprise date night or surprise weekend getaway or I mean, surprise I brought you a candy bar. It didn't have to be a big deal. I think the only ones that really ever surprised me in life would be Sam and Daisy. And so I say I don't mind it because why wouldn't you want to see your kids? Yeah, that's but true. I don't know what that is in them that wants to just jump out of a corner. I'm here, Mom. And why am I always the one having yeah. to arrange it? Yeah, you're always the, <laughs> like, the mediator. Like, fine, I'll call Mom. Okay, Sam, we decided to meet here. Oh, you know. The facilitator. And then I had to go pick him up from the gym. <laughs> His friend dropped him oh, off because he didn't have his car with him. This is way too like this more too information. Much. Okay, but we need to stop. We're just talking about family. Family, we can family keep going. Junk. We could go on, <laughs> on and on. on, and so could you probably with y'all's families. Mm -hmm. Every family has situations. So I've enjoyed seeing all the Easter pictures on mm -hmm. Facebook. That's always fun. So, well, we are glad that you spent this time with us today. We're going to say bye very decoratively with flowers <laughs> in a floral <laughs> sort of way. See, Jonathan, I'm making the most of my $30 purchase. <laughs> and see how happy I am with my mood booster. <laughs> yes. So, we hope to be back in a few days with another video. We're going to be back on a consistent schedule at some point, yes, I we promise. we are. Grandmother's doing good. and we'll, is. We may... Uh, slip her in in the future a time or two so thanks for being here and we'll see you next time bye <laughs> bye grandmother really does want you to give her a perm on camera she's fine with that i'll be there to read the instructions so you know it'll go well oh you can do it you think mm -hmm. with me around you're number five. But you have to wash all that out. Yeah. How do we do that? Well, That's the thing. I'm thinking. We might need Kelly's assistance as how well. How do we bend her back? And That's probably going to be And what about a, the hairdo people that come every week? They well, oh, more. okay. So Carla comes every Wednesday. Carla would be fine if she didn't need to come or just needed to come and touch up or whatever. She doesn't do perms? No, she just does... Um, her little hot curler. She's not a hairstyle. She works at the funeral home. She's not like a permanist. What would I, you call them? I don't even. I, do you need a perm after you're dead? So, well, I just thought of that. I wonder. If no, they... you don't. You just get your hot curler because she'll sometimes help with their hair. Yeah. Or they'll call someone in to do the people's the deceased's hair, but sometimes she'll do it. Yeah, you, would, just you to, could mm -hmm. just fake the After you're gone, you could fake the You wouldn't need a perm. No. You just need your hair rolled. Yeah. And I don't know if some, a perm person who comes and does it at home. Now, you know, like we've talked about in my, in my final hour on the funeral, you just shut the lid. It'll be cheaper, I think, that way, and put out my 
Are my you glam- kidding? Yes. Shut that lid. Oh, I don't, no. I don't need anybody looking Are at you me. Ki- I'm going to get out my makeup palettes, and I'm going to go to town. I don't need everybody peering in there. And I want you to put up my 1980s glamour shot. Boom. I'll do it next to it. Do a big one and put it out in the front. I'm going to have your Juva bun in, and I'm going to have... <laughs> I'm going to have some lovely eyeshadow on. I'm going to probably God, find you a 50s dress or something that I think you'd like with cherries on it. And yeah. then I do want the audience. If there's, the any, audience. if there's anybody left. Are they called the audience? I don't know. But I do want to have my my casket decoupage. Just give have a thing of Mod Podge. <laughs> I'm serious. And just some cute papers. And then just have everybody. They don't need to peer in. I thought they you were going to be cremated and go ahead and Mod Podge your cremation jar. Well, whatever. You it's could not do that matter. beforehand. And, and know that you're living in a Mod Podged little cremation container. Well, I'll be somewhere else. I'm yeah. doing your makeup. I'm doing it. Well, just keep those thoughts in mind for my, <laughs> for my last will and testament. All right. I got to get out of here so you can have the rest of your day. Oh, are you leaving me? Well, yeah. You don't need me to hang around, do you? I guess not. I mean, I figured you'd want your privacy back. Where did I feel? I, I thought you were going to the storage unit. Oh, do you want to go do that? Let's go do that. Okay. I mean, Get I don't have anything some planned. My house is decent. It just needs vacuum. All right. Well, I told Pam I'm, I might come by and see her later. Yeah. So, anyway. <clears throat> oh, we can't turn this thing off. Yeah. Oh, well, I, don't, I know. Okay. Moving around oh. and... Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. My coffee drink is gone. 28 minutes and oh and we were just we were talking for five of that at the end oh your makeup looks good oh good you sort of have a frida what's her name the artist except you don't have the unibrow oh, belly's gonna be so loud don't worry mom every time Every time it makes a noise, I will point it out. No, don't. Just don't say anything about it. They don't need to know. That your belly makes noises. Mm-mm. I think everyone's belly makes oh, noises. Oh, my. What? See, I had to wear a mask. Why did you have to wear Oh, because you went to go get bank. blood work done. And yeah. now... So they make you wear a mask. Yeah. Now it's just... My makeup did look kind of good this morning. Kind of good, huh? It did. It did look kind of good, but... Mm-hmm. Had to wear that mask. Oh, someone was singing in the in the waiting room, and I wondered if it was a person who gets nervous like me in the doctor's office because they had their phone on, and they she was just singing. She was sitting there and just singing to all the like. Yeah, probably then. And I was around the corner, and I wanted to go over there and just talk to her and, and say I. I'm so glad you're playing your music. You should have. Yeah. Sounded so happy. Anyway, all right. All right, so we kind of have an idea of what we're... Did you do two, three things? I asked if I needed anything for the video, and you said no. Well, because I just said three... Th- or did I dream that? I think I'm thinking was, I'm messaging No, people. you messaged me something, but I didn't... It wasn't... Oh, and I need to put my phone on silent okay. or whatever. This is your message. I'm just now leaving the house to go get blood work done. I can't imagine it going quickly, but I can't eat until I get it done. So I'll probably stop and get something afterwards if you want me to get you something. Let me know if you want to meet somewhere. Let me know. Just keep me in the know constantly and in every way. I am talking to my car, and now I'm just saying words to be saying words. I hope that you're happy in the day with the day and are in a good mood. <laughs> that told me nothing. Well, what I meant to say oh, is... The, the first one said... I have three things that I'm loving and one thing I'm about to try out. I figure with conversation, we can fill in the gaps. Does that work for you? I also thought, hey, we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. Let's go. Hi, I'm... Oh, sorry. I oh. didn't to start. I was thinking, cut. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. 